see the best time to come out here is early 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 don't try to come out here when it's late or come out here during the weekends if you can try to come out here oh no it's closed oh no oh they closed this part okay place to come and practice my riding but I don't have twisties near me so this is the closest that I had and I know a lot of people locally here they talk about riding up South Mountain and there's been a lot of people that have gone down up here and I want to just let people know that there doesn't need to be a fear of you riding up here because you hear other people go down up here you know what I'm saying you don't have to let other people's mistakes be a reason why you choose not to do something. So while I'm up here, I'm gonna just take my time and talk to you guys and let you know that you can do this. If you have a fear of coming and doing a canyon ride or carving canyons, that's fine. It, it, it's legitimate fear, it's not for everybody. But believe me, if you develop a little bit of courage Go with friends that aren't gonna push you past your limits. That may help you. And that's what I think helped me. Also, I mean, this is just a place to come and get good riding technique. Like this, keeping your throttle up through the turn. Such good practice. And you don't have to go fast. You know, just take your time and make sure you just keep your throttle control. It's one of the hardest things for a lot of new riders and even some experienced riders, but a lot of new riders have a lot of time with this is just throttle control. Trying to be able to stay on the throttle during a turn is so scary. Like right now, giving it just a little bit of throttle while leaned over, while turning, all those things, man, it's scary. A lot of people, they'll, what they'll do is if they see it turning when it gets you, they'll just come off the throttle like this. They'll just come off the throttle and they'll just wait for the turn to come to them. Instead of doing that, why not practice your throttle control like this? Stay on the throttle. Do the turn. You can hear it in my bike. I need to slow down, slow down a little bit, but get right back on the throttle. Get right back on it. Don't just do this and just coast into the corner. So many riders do that. They'll coast into the corner, but they won't put any gas on. The trick is to just get over that fear and put on just a little bit of gas going through the corner. That way you can control your bike a whole lot better. If you're gonna let off the gas, you might as well be using your brakes. In my opinion, just use your brakes. Use your brakes if you're going through some of these corners. Just light touch of brake, but don't just let off the throttle and just stay off of it. And just rely on that, use that as a way to keep your lean angle. Keep your speed up. Stay on that throttle. Don't be scared of these cars. Just stay on the throttle. Keep your eyes on the road. And you'll be fine. Stay on the throttle. Stay on it. On blind corners, use your brakes. Trust me, it works. Don't come up here with the attitude of you gotta just, you know, take it super slow. You can come up here and ride. Right now I'm just taking my time going through, watching for gravel spots like that, making sure I'm not on the gas too much. Come here, hit the brake, then go through the corner. Come out with the gas. Right here where you can open up a little bit, open up. Hit the brake, and then get right back on the gas. Keep it careful on these hairpins because a lot of these cars will try to go over the double yellow. So far we've got a pretty good track record. Oh man, I gotta stop for a second and take a, to take a bit of this uh, wonderful view right here. I gotta stop over here for you guys so you guys can see this. Oh no, I ain't gonna do it now. These are gonna over here chilling. But the reason why I love coming up here is because I get to practice my skills and I get to get over some fears. I love 
coming up here. Don't be afraid of these corners. Do not be afraid of these corners. Stay on the gas and know how much speed you need. That's another question people always ask is how much speed do you need to go into a corner? Well, first off, you gotta be comfortable with the speed that you're at. If you're not comfortable with speed, do the speed limit. I'm talking about corner speed. I'm talking about while you're leaned over corner speed. I'm not talking about like, you know, hitting up a straight. I'm talking about like right here. What speed can you realistically maintain right here? Especially on corners like this with a gravel stick. On that gas again, see? On that gas, slightly. Lean the bike over and just roll it out. That's all you gotta do. But I'll tell you right now, a lot of people get overly concerned from what I hear. They get overly concerned about these corners thinking that they can't do it. But you can do it. Just take your time, take baby steps, and just focus on cornering your bike. Find a favorite corner and practice on that corner until you can go to the next place. See, this is the place where I go to practice, so I'm comfortable coming up this mountain, chatting with you, and being able to take these corners. I'm telling you, it's, it's fun to do. It really, really is. But you definitely have to be careful. You have to focus. You may have to turn the music off <laughs> if you ride with music in your head. You know, if you're, if you're riding with a Senna or with, you know, a, whatever the case is. Just like this corner right here, look at that, on the gas. That's how you really get that speed and you get that, you know, back and forth, you know? Start wide, look through, and then come over. That's what I'm practicing right now is my throttle position. Just gotta break a little bit, get over here. I'm trying to work on my body position and my throttle hand. I think I'm just gonna go to Dobbins Lookout. I'm not going to the TV towers today because I gotta get back to work. <laughs> but I just wanted to come up here and just do a quick ride up because it only takes about, I think, what's it been like? 10 minutes, I wanna say? But these 10 minutes are like really stressful because in these 10 minutes, straight 10 minutes, you're watching your speed, your body position, throttle, all that gotta be in control for a good 10 minutes but if you do get over the fear of doing that you could be able to come up here and enjoy some wonderful wonderful views like this ah <sighs> I sell stuff up here all the time. Oh yeah, this is uh this is the views you want right here. So this is Dobbins Lookout. There's uh, the the Bee King over there. And again, guys, you can see if you just take a little bit, just take a little little bit of fear, just kill some of that fear. Man, it smells up here. <laughs> Take it right now. Need to clean these bathrooms. So if you just tackle a little bit of that fear, you can be able to come to places like this, catch these wonderful views, especially up here on South Mountain. If you're local, you know you know what it's all about. But I just wanted to make this quick video for a lot of guys who live here locally that ride South Mountain or who are afraid to ride South Mountain because of fear but you can definitely see that you get a really good view from up here you see so much of phoenix you pretty much see the whole city i mean downtown is there over on that side of the mountain is awatuki we'll go up there another time but i just wanted to come up to dobbins lookout take a few photos and maybe stop breathing so heavy <laughs> There we go. Just chilling on South Mountain. So let me know what you guys think of this video. If you wanna see some more videos about riding tips, let me know. I kinda of wanna do more of these videos because I feel like I do more 
storytelling, you know, gear reviews and bike, what I got on a bike or something like that. Oh, I didn't even see that dude right there. But I want to definitely focus more on riding, developing good riding habits and skills, and being able to share that with you guys. I want to be able to do that because having good riding skills is definitely going to make riding more fun. And not everybody rides in the same atmosphere. Not everybody rides in the same place. So I want to try to make a little bit of a different series of videos and ride in those areas. And while I'm riding, give you tips on how to be able to develop good skills while out there riding. I think I'm gonna get back up on the bike here, man. This is uh, having too much fun out here. I think we got a little bit of time. This battery isn't dead yet. So I'll just keep talking. Yeah, this battery ain't dead yet. But yeah, guys, riding up here on canyons is definitely fun. Again, you know it's, there's definitely a risk factor, but again, some of the tips I hope I shared with you I think would help. Again, knowing what things to do while you're up on these types of mountains is, again, definitely crucial. I guess I could talk about it a little bit more while I'm behind these guys, but the point that I'm trying to make is, is that you don't necessarily have to go speed demon up on these mountains, unless if you're really comfortable. If you're really comfortable doing it, <laughs> go ahead and do it. But real talk, just take your time and focus on things you can't focus on on the street that are harder to focus on the street, I should say. Especially being at lean and your throttle control. To me, those are the biggest thing that you gotta deal with when riding on these roads. I'm about to go around this cat in a second here. As soon as I give me some free rein, and this is definitely one thing you don't wanna do, is you definitely don't wanna try to pass a vehicle on a blind corner. Like, you can't see the car coming up around this hill. So, it doesn't make sense to pass. You know what's gonna happen if another car is in that spot if you're trying to pass. So definitely avoid doing that. So let's see if I can give me a quick opening. I think there's an opening right up here. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Yeah, I'm taking it. Yeah, man, that's how you wanna pass. When you know that the coast is clear, that's, that's pretty obvious, right? I mean, I've seen dudes that don't do that. You know, they look out, it just doesn't happen to be somebody there. You know, there's not a lot of traffic that morning or whatever. But man, there have been some people that have crashed on mountains like this because of not paying attention and because of trying to pass people through a blind spot. So, just to beat the dead horse again, I mean, take your time going through here, man. It's really not a race. Take your time, come through here, learn your bike's lean angle. Don't be afraid to change up your body position and don't be so stiff. That was my hardest thing coming up here is being stiff. And what I mean by being stiff is I'm talking about your body position, not so much your throttle hand. So again, stand on that throttle, stay on it and just look. The whole point of looking where you wanna go it's the same principle up here. I think this person wants me to pass them. I think I'm gonna do it. But yeah, the same principle applies up here. I mean, look where you wanna go. Don't go faster than what your eyes can realistically see. And then that'll help you to avoid freezing up. So for example, like this, I got a little bit of throttle on as I'm going through these corners. I'm making sure that if I see a long sweeper come up, I'm getting on the outside of the lane, just like this, so I can have room to lean and then go. Just like here. Turn, I look, give it a little gas, lean through it. And these little things, these little small steps, if you keep doing them consistently, you're gonna get better and better at it. Just like here. Lean through it. That's it. Look at that beautiful view over there. Beautiful view of Alatuki. But yeah, same principle. Here's a nice, uh, nice little hairpin right here. Again, perfect place to practice your throttle control. Keep on the gas. Lean it over. 
and don't be so stiff on the bar just keep it nice and loose and what I like to do when especially when I'm on the mountains and I know I'm really got to pay attention when I grip my bars I like to use almost like a screwdriver grip not like this but more like this like a screwdriver grip like you're turning a screwdriver I do that on my throttle and on my uh, non-throttle hand so my hands kind of look like this and so as I'm leaning over I can easily make quick adjustments see I'm more like kind of like have my arms real wide you probably can see me on the second camera better but I have a better chance of controlling my throttle and my brake and I actually use my middle finger for just a little bit of brake just a little bit of brake look through the corner and then go just a little bit of brake or I'll use my rear brake I'm kind of hovering over it right now you, you can't really see it but my foot is hovering over the rear brake and I'll give it just a little bit of brake as I go through I try not to use too much front and I get to stay on the gas a whole lot more this helps me get through these corners quicker and at the same time I get to practice my throttle control I mostly stay on the gas for like 75% of this pull up and down I'm on the gas over there trying to get their shots same thing here give it a little rear brake and man it's a workout because you're moving back and forth left and right but honestly it's so fun to do it it's so fun to practice i mean some people kind of over exaggerate they'd be like you know like this and all this and it's like why are you doing all that you know you're not taking these corners at like you know rossi speeds you know what i'm saying but some people do like to do that and it makes them feel good that's cool but i like to keep it a little bit more low key and especially on this uh naked bike it's even more fun to lean over because your body position is perfect for this you get a chance to look over the handlebars instead of down and tucked in to where you can barely see over the bars at lean but i love this so I definitely encourage you guys to try some technical riding. If you're used to riding on the street a lot, come out here to the mountain or, or go out to a track day and try to do some more technical riding. Trust me, it's like, it's a night and day difference, the skills that you'll learn and you'll develop so much as a rider. So try it guys, if you can. Oh, this is a perfect turn. This is a juicy one here. So get on that gas. Get on that gas, lean through it, lean through it, lean through it. There we go. Don't be afraid of that turn. But yeah, guys, try it out. If you get a chance, try out some of these techniques. Start off wide, go in, then go out. Just try it out, guys. Try these techniques. This is a good place to come and practice it. I like to come to the mountain because not a lot of traffic's up here. It makes it easier for me to practice. Even though people think it's dangerous because you got a long cliff. I mean, hey, just don't go outside of your limit. Just take baby steps, you know? Take them little baby steps and try it out. But let me know what you guys think about this video. Wait, I'm passing here, sorry. So what I'm gonna do is I get here, I slow down. I'm gonna drop a gear. Get on the gas and lean. That's it. Simple as that. And I can stay on the gas. And it makes it look like I'm going faster too. <laughs> and it looks like I'm going faster because I am. Because I'm staying on the gas in the turn. I'm not letting the letting off the gas and letting it fall off. Now I'm on the street, I can really pick up speed and I can go for it. It's so fun. Again, it's, it, and it all goes back to the basics, the same stuff that you learned in the MS, MSF class, try doing it here. Look where you wanna go. Only thing that you're doing is increasing the speed as you're doing it. That's it. Just like this here. Boom. And we out of here. Now, if I was, <laughs> now I'm actually shocked that I was able to finish this all on one battery because I was expecting a lot of people, tourists, to be up here chilling. And we got some interesting people over here. But I'm surprised I finished this 
in the same time my battery lasts because you know how these GoPro batteries they barely ever last but let me know what you guys think of this video if you enjoyed it leave a like leave a comment definitely would appreciate any feedback I get on these kind of videos and let me know what you want to see in the next video again I'm loving this B King it's a fun bike definitely recommend you pick up a naked bike if you haven't already for this kind of stuff especially on the street on the street this bike does so much work on the street man it's got the ergonomics that you you know that any person loves it's just a fun bike anyway i'll catch you on the next video 602 out